and let's do perfinet. Oh, I need to do some fuel here. Fuel. Block fuel. Actually, 22.7 is fine. So that's fine. Let's do settings. Display. That all looks good. Hardware config. Nose will access yaw. That looks good. Realism. Short. Visual effects. It's fine. Quick save. There we go. All right, so we'll come down here and we'll do uh, gross weight reserves of five. Cost index today is 40. Cruise altitude, we're going uh, eastbound, so we'll go at 370. Cruise winds today are 036 at 5. And outside air temperature is minus 40. Execute that N1 limit. Select outside air temperature. Take off flaps 5. CG 22.6. Trim 4.76. V1 129. VR 131. V2 143. All right, departures. We're going to do the Lady J4. With the Castro transition. We are taking off of 25 right. Route, activate, boom. And then if we go to the route page, next page, uh, Lady J4 to Castro, and then the FRA waypoint. And then JSICA, Jessica waypoint. I like that waypoint name. S P R U Z. Okay. And then we're going to go arrivals into Salt Lake City. We're going to choose the Watts 5. And we're doing ILS 3 4 left. Let's check the routes page here. There we go. Bring the Bonneville up. Boom. All right, looks good. Catch up with chat. So you're saying, interesting. Well, the th the, here's the problem, right? Is we still have that reflection issue in the PFD and the ND, right? And the pictures that I saw on that Twitter post showed the reflection problem. So I, it doesn't seem like there's any been any development done, but who knows? We'll see. We shall see. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and push back. Route of cockpit, please show me where you want to go. Ground to cockpit, tow is driving up. My voice is in better pushback, yes.
The reflection problem is an X-plate issue. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed, ready to connect. It could be, but I, you would think that they'd be able to turn off the reflections in the displays. But, I don't know. I tried to find the uh, the display objects and try to get rid of any sort of masks on them, but that didn't work. Scotty P, good morning. Connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. Okay, I'm going to start Active Sky. Parking brake released. Starting pushback. Um, I probably will check out the Fokker 50 um, from Carinado, but I have to wait for the uh, org store to release it because I always buy from the org store most of the time. There are some aircraft that are not available on the org store, but... Whoa! That tug driver is... Whoa, what's in his coffee? Holy snack lips. Oh, you're in the f in the Fokker 50 right now, Scotty. Nice. There's an early report. New Fast and Furious LAX drift. Exactly, Magic Eagles. Yep. <laughs> Having a little bit of stutter there. Hopefully the tug stops. I don't think it's stopping. Is it going to slam into the back there? We better. <laughs> Operation complete. Set parking brake. Blew all the tires, exactly, yeah. All right, set the parking brake. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. Yeah, I, I start. The engines were on. Tug driver must have been trucking the night before. No kidding, man. All right, I'll put in a squat code here. And let's also set up the uh, flight directors. We'll set a mock speed. A heading of 250. An altitude. Tow is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal will be on the left. We'll see you next time. 
Have a safe flight. Thank you. We're going to 37,000 feet. And we need to come down here and do auto brake RTO. Taxi light on. Flight altitude. Let's get some pressurization set up. 37,000. And landing altitude is 42. Window heat is on, probe heat is on. Everything looks good. Did I go into the program? And no, it never simulated the, it never It never has had the uh, MCAS simulation. So. Hmm. Here we go. Uh oh. I think we lost our our uh, rudder steer. Hydraulics are on. Settings hardware. Yeah. Nose wheel access on yaw. Let's try roll and see what happens. Nope. Oh, we have a problem. I think the better pushback jacked me up. There we go. No, it's just taxiing with the brake right now. Hmm. Is the idle power of the max engines higher? Uh, I actually had the throttle up, so here's... Here is close to idle, and it's down around 20-something. Let me see if I can come in here. Just going to look at my nose wheel for a second. Oh, yeah, my nose wheel is jackified. See that? Oops. Slowly bringing it back. Someone reported the same issue with Zebo. Really? Yeah, I've toggled the nose wheel steering on and off. Um, but I updated to 11.36, so maybe that's part of the issue. Nose, yeah, nose, toggle, nose will steer in. The center cone is not turning. Um, yeah, the wheels are turning. Wow. I should check to I should check on the uh, systems page here. Uh, systems, yeah. See, there's rudder. And the tiller is moving. Oh, inside the engine. Ah, oh, okay. 738 nose gear just stopped working. Huh.
the Zebo had to have a mod for steering to work it. Okay. It'll be interesting to find out what that mod was. Change this back to engine. There we go. I like this Air Canada delivery. Maybe that's why Better Pushback was doing its little dance because because of, of this eleven point three six issue. Maybe I don't know. No flaps. Uh, yeah, we need to do flaps. Flaps five. Flap indicator, right here. We know that the graphics are a little bit, uh, a little bit off. Better pushback was doing the waltz with the Zebo until fixed in point three zero. Ah, okay. You're not upgrading again until 12. <laughs> I, I Believe it or not, I downloaded 11.40 last night. I don't know if you guys knew that, but you can actually get on 11.40 and try the new, uh, the new flight model system. There's a real-world flight landing at LAX. THT8, I don't know what that is, but... I do have the real world flight real world real world flights injected into the sim. I wouldn't mind experimenting with 11.4. It's kind of rare that they allow such early access to something that's uh not even available through the Xplane installer. It's kind of it is rare. But but so I downloaded it. I mean, it can't hurt to have it just in, just do it in a separate directory. That's the that's the glory of of X plane, is that you don't have to update your stable version. Okay, landing lights coming on, and uh, engines uh, on continuous, strobe and steady, and the collision on. We got the auto throttle on. Uh, put the Indicated airspeed up a little bit. Any word on Vulcan? I haven't heard anything. Heading 250. Courses are, are okay. Flight directors are set. I think we're ready to go. You guys want to hear a little bit of sound? This is just Zebo sounds. F, uh, audio bird sounds. Just from the, like the Zebo type stuff. I'll turn it up just a little bit. Let this guy land and then we'll take off. This guy landing is Delta two three four six. Alexa, status on Delta two three four six. Alexa. Airline flight status for Delta. Oh, Alexa, stop. I got to figure out the terminology for that. All right, let's go. We're going to have to do a really hard break here.
All right, here's Toga. Coming up. Okay, we're still hand flying it using the flight director. Noise canceling headphones coming in. Still hand flying. I'm going to pitch down a little bit and bring my speed up. Uh, do you know if they're working on authentic Mac sounds? Wouldn't be hard. Uh, I don't know. Or would be hard, yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't know any. I don't know any status on current uh, development. I don't know any status of of who's working on what. Um, I. I really don't know anything. It's. 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 Um, yeah. I just know that I. I, w I was originally uh, invited to to try the the the, the first beta here. Oh, there's the reflections happening. All right, I'm going to go into LNAV and VNAV and Command A. We're supposed to be at. It's actually pitching down. Disconnecting autopilot. That's interesting. Okay, hand flying. <laughs> Thought you said MCAS wasn't simulated. No, I mean, that was weird. <laughs> We're also way high in speed. So let me uh, see what the FMC is complaining about. Oh, using reserve. Okay. Let's try this one more time. All right. I think it's okay. Oh, snack. Uh, changes to waves to improve water landings behavior in 11.40. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, MCP altitude set, yeah. It was trying to follow, I think, a... No, I don't know what it did there, actually. But you notice how the reflections on the displays were there? I mean, they suddenly came in. That was kind of weird. I wonder if it's based on, yeah, it's based on sunlight. Did you have 
it trimmed while you were hand flying or uh I was trim I was trimming it, yeah. I have a I use the hat switch on my joystick for the trimming. It was very interesting video on the changes. Yeah, I mean I'll probably play around with a like X point eleven point four zero um in the next day or two. See what happens. Check your VNAV climb page. It's going to lead. Oh, you know what? Oh, yeah. They don't have any altitude set on there. That's interesting. All right, let's go level change. We'll simulate that we've been cleared up to at least 230. You're currently copying your current X-Plane folder over to a different drive before I do the 11.4. Yeah, you, you want to be able to revert back. So... Tail draggers, better water, prop wash. Very cool. Uh, Boeing, uh, am I going to buy 2020? Yeah, most likely. Yep. Uh-oh. FS Economy just canceled your flight. Crash a distal. That is not good. Golf course. Oh, Scotty P just barely beat out Puff. The ortho looks pretty good out here. Looks good. I have no idea track channel. No idea. In fact, if I decide to put this video out on YouTube, if any of you guys are wondering when this will be released, I have no idea. Uh, if you're asking me to give you a link to the download, I cannot do that. <laughs> Sorry. And I encourage you to join me on the live stream. Twitch.tv slash John Fly. Check your cruise page and see if it has FL370 in it. Um, it shows FL370 right here in at the FRA waypoint, or VOR. And it's got uh, 370 right there. Is that what you're referring to? Ryan's loving the new Fly J Sim, yeah. Yep. I haven't tried the Q400, but the uh, I'm gonna set standard pressure here. Um, oh, it's not letting me set standard pressure. That's interesting. Well, two nine nine eight two set. 
I'm just trying to figure out why VNAV path is so screwed up. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's true because of those those uh, these legs here. Yeah, I don't know. Once we get to FRA, it, it knows, but it didn't do the... Uh, it didn't do... It looks like it's stepping down correctly for the uh, Watts. The Watts 5 arrival into Salt Lake City. But you're right, the Lady J4 wasn't in there per correctly. Hello, Chandler. Whose Max is this? Um, well, if you come over here and you do team credits, there's some of the people involved. It's it's the Zebo under the hood, right? Okay, I can finally turn off my lights. You'll notice there's uh, a bit of difference with regard to the fuel cutoff. And apparently the whole the you know the whole problem with the max you know whenever the planes were pitching down all that needed to happen I if I if I understand correctly is oops autopilot I just accidentally went off um all they all they needed to do if I understand it correctly was hit the this stab trim cutout I believe boom and then start manually adjusting the trim. I think that's all that they had to do. Uh, but I could be wrong. Park brake handle is new as well. Oh yeah, park brake handle right there. You're right. Yep. And then of course the auto brake section is also down here as opposed to being up this way. Yeah. Don't overspeed the F fifty, you're deaf now. Haha. <laughs> I'll remember that. <laughs> 